If you're close to an INFJ or have always been fascinated by their personality type, you'll know that they are always described as kind, compassionate, gentle, and accepting. While all of these things are absolutely true, did you know that INFJs are also dangerous? Well, they're perhaps the most dangerous of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. Keep watching to find out the insane ways in which the sweet little INFJ can shake people to their core. Number 10. They can explore in anger Since INFJs love to be the source of comfort for others, they can easily meet the needs of the people they love. However, they lash out when they feel like they're being mistreated or taken advantage of. In such a scenario, they want people to apologize and admit their wrongs too. But INFJs are some of the very few personality types who willingly do that, and others just don't know how to admit their mistakes. Since they hate confrontation, INFJs just let them slip away and choose to bottle up all the negativity inside them until they explode. This emotional explosion is extremely unpleasant, and no one would ever want to see them in that state. The rage is scarier than most people think. So before they get to that state, INFJs do their best to flee and just completely detach themselves from the rest of the world. Number 9. They can manipulate their manipulators INFJs are the tastiest baits for their people like narcissists because of their incredible ability to empathize. But INFJs aren't blind and will never be blind. When they can sense that someone is coming after them, judging every bit of their character, INFJs won't hesitate to show them what they're made of instead of continually acting friendly. They will still act nice but in the most distorted way. To confuse their enemies, they continue to be kind in front of their betrayer's faces, but it's only because they're already studying their deep-seated motives and reflecting on their actions. They can respond in a way that can elicit a particular response from other people, leading them to a dead end. Once they've already cornered people in their conversations, they ask them straightforward questions that would force them to reveal their true intentions. Number 8. They can change people's perspectives If you think hypnosis is a non-fictional thing, then meet INF Jays. In most cases, this is a useful ability. For example, when one of their loved ones thinks that stereotyping people is okay, INFJs will dig deeper into why their loved one thinks that way. Once they understand the root cause of the people's mentality, INFJs use that acquired information to reshape that person's belief system and encourage them to improve their way of seeing things. Since they know how people think, instead of correcting them directly, they choose to act as the mediator between the person and their unconscious thoughts. As you can imagine, when this ability is missed, used, it becomes a curse. Vengeful INFJs can use this power to brainwash people to their own liking. Amateur INFJs who don't have moral principles can use their intellect for damaging evil purposes. But fortunately, most INFJs desire to nurture their spiritual side and keep their inner beasts at bay, unless someone betrays them. Number 7. They know exactly what people want INFJs can read people's minds and always know their true intentions, even if the person does not speak anything or display them through their actions. However, INFJs are are not ruthless, unaware master manipulators who distort people's mentality to their advantage. Instead, they're the kind of people who know what people need and use that knowledge of them to help them get what they want in life. When provoked, this kind and encouraging side of the INFJs just turns into smithereens, and they don't hesitate to seek vengeance on their enemies. They hurt them by suddenly stepping on their ego and indirectly belittling them. They know exactly what their enemies need, and they use that knowledge of them to defeat them. Their enemies may not know they're roughly rent by someone who holds a greater understanding of their character and is destroyed by the INFJ with little to no warning. Number 6. They can build a fort of thorns When INFJs have their protective suits on, they defend themselves from the external world in a way that can prevent them from ever getting hurt again. Since INFJs are introverts, they often have a hard time dealing with overstimulation, as this can only burn them out when everyone around them seems to be all loud and reckless. The broken INFJ hides behind the walls of the fort they build around their feelings and detaches themselves from their relationship they had valued before. Behind these walls, they become empty, destructive, completely detached, and less empathetic. When someone attempts to tear these walls down, they'll have to hurt themselves first and prove their worth of being led into the INFJ's fortitude of solace. There will be prolonged misery before finally making their way to INFJ's heart and before the INFJ lets their guard down and finally begins to trust someone again. Number 5. Their words can sting As most people might already know, INFJs can be gentle on the surface, but they have dominant inner demons that they can unleash whenever they're provoked or when someone dear to them crosses the line for the last time. This isn't a tall tale at all, but it is a fact. INFJs have the uncanny ability to make people feel guilty and remorseful for their misdemeanors. They convey their thoughts and even those of others so well that it seems like they can see deep into their souls and read everyone's mind. Because of these skills, INFJs know what people want and don't want to hear. So when they're disappointed, they choose to speak words that sting and people would end up squirming in shame. INFJ types will quit 
get all the endearment and start being the coldest person in the room. They will not hesitate to spell out people's insecurities because they believe they deserve it at that point in time. Number four, they believe that the end justifies the means. INFJs are introverted, intuitive beings, and because of that, they tend to create a wide range of goals for the present and future. If they're not careful about choosing their goals, they tend to place everything on the line, especially if they let their perfectionist side take over. This compels them to take drastic steps to reach their goals while firmly believing that the overall advantage has more value than its short-term determinants. This can be very dangerous because their treatment towards others can completely transform just to achieve their plans. Immature INFJs can lose sight of their moral compass and begin treating everyone like mere followers instead of emotional human beings. In short, they can let their strict inner boss take control of their life. By doing so, they can lose touch with their ethics and values and ultimately their very nature. Number three, they're unbeatable. INFJs are undoubtedly diligent and unstoppable dreamers. No matter how fierce the competition, INFJs will triumph every single time. That's a guarantee. They crush anyone who dares to come close to them. However, this trait is unintentional. It's not their fault that people catch at their speed. As perfectionists, INFJs think way ahead of their time, and their superior intellect allows them to see the relationship between science that most people can't. Since they can't see patterns in everything and can make sense of the most absurd and puzzling things, they have the advantage in competitions. Number two, they have an all or nothing attitude. INFJs are empathetic and warm individuals who hate conflict and only aim for harmony. They go beyond their limits just to protect the people they care for. However, when situations sting, their rage can show up faster than people expect. When they feel betrayed or mocked, INFJs lose their friendly and warm demeanor and become more aloof, inconsiderate, and bossy. This directness can surely overwhelm people around them, especially when they're used to interacting with the INFJ's warm side. They transform from very accommodating to extremely cold, sometimes within a matter of minutes. When Whatever these transformations are, it's all because they're disappointed or hurt by how people treat them. Number one, they're stubborn and rebellious. Being stubborn and rebellious isn't their way of defending their ego at all. It's just the way they're meant to be. INFJs are born to be leaders, nonconformists, and protesters and they firmly stand by what they think is right according to their moral values. Since they're right most of the time, anyone who clashes with an INFJ's beliefs should be ready with their arguments because INFJs are always a few steps ahead of everyone. Although they can't understand the perspectives that others have, they're not easily shaken by just anyone's faulty opinions, and their foundations are firm enough to withstand the strongest currents of a critic. When INFJs know they're in the right, nothing can ever weaken their knees without their consent or sway them away from their thoughts. They will always have the choice to either let their demons control them or not, but if they think it's time for them to unleash these dangerous monsters, by all means, they do. If you're an INFJ, how do you deal with those who betray you? What is the most dangerous INFJ behavior you have encountered? Comment below. As always, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on psychology.